everybody, this is Sweet with Sweet Six Living, and today we're going to show you our new chicken coop. We decided, because being I'm ketovore and Six is a carnivore, that um, having fresh farm eggs would probably be really smart for us because we eat about six to ten eggs a day. So having fresh eggs <laughs> is, is, is a treat. We can access some, we have access to eggs, but with the prices of eggs going up and eating lots of protein as we do, um, eggs are important. But first, I'm gonna show you outside and show you what we've done to the outside. We've landscaped and added rocks all the way around, including we have a predator barrier. So all the way around the chicken coop, we have chicken wire that comes out further, about a foot to foot and a half, um, that then is uh, doesn't uh, you know prevents prevent predators from digging in to get in, and then for beauty and for protection purposes, we've now um, done landscaping. Um, we've got lemongrass, and I've got um, some other other beneficial herbs that I'll be planting. Um, we've planted a few. Um, as you can see, when you come around, there are a few that are still a little bit in shock, but come all the way around. And there goes one of our chickens. If you caught that, that's Amelia. Amelia Earhart, she gets out often. But now she's learned from the boys how to get out. Um, and then um, on the outside we have our little lounge area. Uh, we encourage our, uh, our family and our friends, including that our neighbors, we have that as well, to come hang out and watch the chickens. Four twenty friendly, of course. And then um, this is our the main um, entrance gate to guests that um, will allow you to come in. And then now this is the run inside. The space that we've created is is we can actually have more chickens than we have currently, um, and that's kind of our our goal is to grow as um, as we're as we're able. Um, we those of you that know our story, we have acquired some chickens, and we started with what we thought were more chickens, but we now have figured we have lots of roosters. So, um, we have little roost areas. This is a, that they love to roost on. And then we have our um, compost area that we've added the shade to um, for two reasons. Once again, for protection, as well as um, then it, it provides shade for the chickens to hang out inside the compost area, which they love really well, really a lot. And there's roost inside there as well. So the rocks we have in here are for the same reason we have on the outside. It's for protection as well as for us to have landscaping, including um, then bugs. I don't know if it's enough time for bugs to to show up. Not enough time. Is that will be we over time with watering and plants, then you'll get more bugs. Uh, bugs are a great protein and then natural protein for the chickens to to eat so and free <laughs> so we'll be definitely doing that once we get all the landscaping and then if you notice on the ground there's grass um, and grass clippings as well as old grass uh, chickens love grass they dig it they hang out in it they roost in it um, and they eat it so it's really great thing so it's also the deep litter method so through the the yard itself the grass will then will re reduce uh, the the flies as well as then provide more space for other bugs to get in that's beneficial for the chickens the twins are in here oh, boys. come on everybody out you too go that way open door chicken open door see the open door there you go So this cool little house right here, this is our Chicks Motel 6. Uh, then come around to the front and check it out. This, um, this coop was given to us, which is great. We're, we're very happy to have it. It's our Motel 6, because this, this is a place for us to bring in new chickens. So when we have new chickens to come in to introduce to the flock, as well as, unfortunately, chickens that will be leaving and going to the island and then there's the fun stuff that's throughout the camp I showed you the roost that they have um, that they do we also have this is kind of our little feeding ring this is we'll throw in 
different kinds of goodies. Right now it's just got grass in it. Um, and then we have our cool fun stuff. So the playground, this is the chicken ladder. Uh, they love the chicken ladder. They jump up, they drink water. It's why we've got the water here for them. One of the favorite things that chickens like is they love cabbage. And they, um, I cut the cabbage head in half because they eat an entire head of cabbage each day if I put it out. So they get a half a cabbage a day, usually. And the chickens dig it. As you can see, there's somebody already coming to the chicken. So behind the chicken ladder, we have a couple of little little roosts. Um, they climb up here. They actually have, they climb up here and they fly over and jump over to the chicken ladder as well. But we also have our cool little ladder, or excuse me, our cool little bridge that takes you over to another watering station. And um, this has been actually really cool. One of the things that it, that um, for just them drinking water is putting their water in in multiple levels, as well as keeping it off the ground. Um, that's one of the biggest things is keeping their water dishes clean because they're, they, they, they're dirty <laughs> in that aspect. Um, doing it in the manner that we have been doing now is they have, it's been much cleaner and um, gives them something to do and keeps them, um, keeps them occupied so they don't get bored. Um, another roost. And then here is the area um, of bugs. Um, the bugs are coming, but so there's a couple of bugs in there and that's, this is a thing that I'm starting for the chickens to get them used to finding bugs themselves in that, in that area. And then right above us is more shade. Um, we, this originally was completely open and, um, they needed a little extra shade. And so we added this, which has been really nice. It was a recycled, one of our um, shade cloths that we've had at other projects. So we put it up for the chickens and then eventually this space will be solid. Don't know why that happened. And anybody's home is not complete without a picket fence. So we made sure that the chickens had the perfect house and they've got their and they've got their their wonderful picket fence. And the two dogs and the two cats. And if you look at it, if you look at the face on the chicken coop, it kind of looks like a chicken face. So now for the chicken coop. And one of the things we really needed was a shed also. So we combined the two. We figured we're gonna build both, so we'll have just one. So this is, this is our chicken coop and also our shed. So come on in. You can see a typical shed. We've got our supplies on one side and our tools on the other. And then we have these are our cool nesting boxes. This was also a gift, which was really nice. So we didn't have to build it. We're so happy. And we might even have some eggs in here. So let's check it out. I see two eggs, but one of them, which one is real, you can tell that way, but maybe that way might be difficult. <laughs> but we got a new egg right there and this and that's pretty awesome so within about two weeks I think we'll be getting probably hopefully at least a half a dozen eggs so that's a nice look at that that's a great looking egg and then of course we have our roost bars so this is the roost bars for the chickens And um, the the roost bar, we can we could fit probably 60 chickens in here. Right now we're sitting at 25, um, and our goal 
first is probably a, is is to keep and maintain that for for a bit, and then we're gonna add some more um, chickens to it as we um, process roosters. We're getting some more chickens so that we can we can be making more eggs. The goal is eggs. Uh, no, everyone can't get enough, including. Georgina. So stick around with us. Make sure that you subscribe, hit that bell so that you don't miss anything that's getting ready to happen because we'll have more eggs and we have a secret coming. So a little secret to share with you, including some, some murals. We've got music. So please stick around with Sweet Six Living. Tell a friend, make a comment. If some, if you, if you like the chicken coop, if you think that our chickens are crazy, whatever it might be, just let us know. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, and give us a comment. Have a great day, and we'll see you real soon.